studio. Please welcome to the Amish Wayne program, my old friend Larry Flint. Larry, how are you? Oh, great. How are you? <laughs> I'm pissed off. That's how I am. Uh, yeah. Ooh, I'll alert the media. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's the elephant man with news. <laughs> What's going on? Maybe it's because I was a born again Christian, but for I don't get the whole Hanukkah thing. The traditions are a little confusing to me. No tree, but there's potato pancakes. No hanging up stockings, but there is a spinning wooden top that you can bet on. What happened? They couldn't get the rights to the slinky? <laughs> I feel bad for kids on Hanukkah. They get one gift a night, so they wind up getting one crayon out of an eight box. <laughs> wow, purple. I've been waiting for this since Tuesday. <laughs> Hanukkah celebrates the miracle of lamp oil lasting for eight nights. A whole holiday based on being energy efficient. I don't know why it's considered a miracle. The Israelites lived in the Middle East. They were sitting on top of a billion barrels. They having a hard time getting a gallon to keep the lights going? What's the real Hanukkah miracle? Not having to wait online at the movie theater on Christmas Day? It's not like there are any real Hanukkah movies. They don't have a Jewish version of It's a Wonderful Life. What would they call it? Eh, it's a life. <laughs> <laughs> or Miracle on 47th Street, where a jeweler in the Diamond District discovers that retail is real. No Hanukkah songs, no Rudolph the Reformed Rabbi. <laughs> Rudolph the Reformed Rabbi had a son in dental school. <laughs> At least it's still grounded in religion. It's not become as commercialized as Christmas. You don't have anybody with bumper stickers on their cars that say, keep the in Hanukkah. <laughs> There's no war on Hanukkah either. And if there was, it'd be over in six days. <laughs> 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 it was funny. Yeah, it was very good, right? <laughs>